Thank you, Sue. All right, you know it's April. That means the beginning of crab season in Maryland. And the experts this year have already said this year is unlike anything we've ever seen before thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal has the story tonight from St. Mary's County. Right now I'm out on the Potomac River near Colton's Point where some crabs are already coming in. But as I found out out here today, that's not the part of crab season that's worrying watermen the most. <laughs> Yeah, right now they're not worried about reeling them in. They're worried about getting them to you. It's not looking very good. Robert T. Brown is the president of the Maryland Watermen's Association. Because of factors like a mild winter, he's predicting an above average number of crabs this year. That's typically great news. The problem is a lot of us eat those crabs in restaurants. Right now we have no idea when they'll open back up. 50% of the people eat crabs at restaurants when they sit down. And if that's where 50% of our crabs go to, well, look, look what happens. That's 50% of your market has gone. And Brown isn't alone. We also talked to Bill Sealing of the Chesapeake Bay Seafood Industries Association. He also predicted good supply with uncertain demand and added that prices for consumers will likely fall as a result. Neither he nor Brown were sure by how much, so we called around to restaurants. One, the Bethesda Crab House, said they can only reduce prices on crabs by so much without losing money, although they are currently running a special on smaller ones. Supply and demand. We're going to have the supply, but where are the people going to get the crabs at? Right now, it's just carryouts. We need to sit down restaurants and stuff to be opened again. And Brown added that if you want to support Waterman getting through these tough times, one great way to do it is by going out to pick up crabs and other local seafood. Guys, 